the founding story of Harlem haberdashery. In short, it was the retail expression of 5001 Flavors. As a black-owned business, you have to fight so many different battles. And our people, I think, are so used to getting mediocre service. You know, when you see black people in suits that are dressed, dressed nice, that are educated, um, that know their business, we're trying to act white. My favorites that people still talk about to this day, I talk about like iconic stuff, like the stuff we used to do for Biggie, or the stuff we used to do for Tupac, or um, all of the No Limit leather pieces people love, um, the whole bad boy leather jersey era. Our people need to see our people in business in our communities. So if you keep that money in the community, right, the community works better. Everybody just wants to tweet or be social media activists, buy black, but they don't buy black, you know what I'm saying? They don't support our people.